Okay, in this demo, what I'm going to do is give you a very complete and thorough example of e executing, configuring, matching, merging, queries, and packages. I have chosen a very small based object with a small data set, and that is the address type. Let me quickly show you what the data looks like. Remember that in an earlier module, I explained to you how important it is to know the data because the data in many ways drives the physical data model which drives the ability for us to match and merge. Sometimes we can begin by understanding the business requirements for matching and merging and that will impact the physical data model and the kind of data we may need to bring in. So this is our initial data. Notice that I have the based object call address type and it only has nine records. Please pay attention that I have a column for address type code. So notice basically this is the address type. Ship address has a code of three. Shipping address has a code of three also. So there are duplicate type uh, address type codes, but more importantly, there may be duplicates in the description. Shipping address, ship address, and notice shipping address. So ship address, shipping address. So we can see that there are, are some duplicates if we were to focus on the column the address description. What am I going to do? These are going to be the results. After we finish our example, we're going to realize that the software, the way we have configured it, has detected and I've colored coded them in pairs. So notice that these two, the purple and not the purple, the reddish shipping address and the bottom reddish, those are have been those have been found by the software to be match matchable candidates. Shipping address and shipping address, target address and target address, billing and billing, and then there's some that just don't match. So let's quickly go into that. So understanding the data set, that's what we're going to do. Now, of course, you could have gone into Oracle and you could have opened up the C address table and gone into the data. Notice there is no data right now in the address, excuse me, let me just make sure I refresh this because I just finished loading the data. So let's make sure that there is data, otherwise, Otherwise, some of you guys will catch this and realize that I forgot to load it, but I did. Notice here's the data. And so uh, many of you guys can see that there is data there. And there goes the data. Now, why am I going to Oracle to show you the data sets? Because we haven't learned formally how to cre create queries and packages, but I'm going to show you that in this demo. So given that data, minimize uh, the Oracle database and let's go to the based objects. Notice that I'm going to configure address type. We have loaded data, which means the consolidation indicator flag should be all, what is it? Fours. They're all brand new records. Now, I'm going to go to matching and also in an earlier module, I actually showed you a little bit of the details. So I would encourage you to watch the first matching module because I go through some basics of where we are and here I'm going to actually focus on a demo. So notice, first we begin by properties. In the, earlier, in the earlier module, I discussed some of these properties. So here, I want to select exact because I do not want to apply fuzzy logic. Is there data that I need for this column that's coming from another based object? If so, I'll set pass. I don't in this example. What about a column? According to our lecture and module, we should uh, select a column. So in this case, the field name is address and here you have a chance to type something long and descriptive that makes sense to the data stewards, the people that will be viewing this. So notice I said address type dis description. Now which column should I select for matching? This is really the essence of beginning to study your data. Should I match against address type code or address type description? If you recall our data set, we have duplicate type codes and we have some possibility, some possibility of duplicate description code. It is better to not match by type code because there's only so many ways that I could match. There's duplicate ones, twos, threes, fours, and then a five and a six, etc. So let me use description. It's easier. And by the way, I got to preface this. This is a very small example. I am choosing the easiest way, which is exact matching in a very small data set. So we can focus on the process. So I've selected the address type description as my column. Now what? If you think we're done 
and we actually go ahead and save this. If we're done, then remember in our, in our process diagram, we're ready to go to Batch Viewer, and at this point, I'm ready to run this. Let's, let's run this. Do you know this is going to run? Let's quickly go ahead and, oops, I'm in the wrong place, not the load. Notice I go to Match and match for, a custom, uh, match for address type and go, to, go ahead and execute this match. And let's see what happens. Oops, look, no default match processing. There is an error. Ah, I forgot to configure something. So let me co go back and in this case, I'm gonna clear history so we don't get too many messages. We just see what we're focusing on. So notice my configuration is not complete. I go back to address type. Ah, what did I forget? the match rule sets. The match rule sets are extremely important. This is really the core of the MDM hub solution. Now I'm playing the role of data modeler, staging, cleansing, etc. Some of you may only play the role of a matching expert. So again, I'm playing all roles, but in sometimes you do have someone dedicated that understands the business goals and the hub in order to configure the matchings correctly. So under match rule sets, we're going to have to create a rule and I'm going to call this find duplicates because that seems reasonable. I gave it a name. Notice you can create more rules. And now what I, what I want on the right hand side, name, do I want to enable filter? Nope. If this is pretty straightforward in the rules, I'm going to add a rule. Notice we're playing with exact logic. So I only get the solid green cross and not the fuzzy one. And so now I'm going to add a rule. Ah, which is the exact column? Well, I've already chosen the address type description. Now, if I select it, I can also configure whether it accepts null data, etc. But again, I'm choosing the easiest path right now. So there it is. Notice I have one rule. It is set to auto no, which means when I execute this match rule, it's not going to automatically merge. The auto column means once you match, if it is set to yes, and I'll show you how I can toggle it, select it, and just click here in the bottom and up. Notice it toggles from yes and no. If I leave it as yes, that means I want to also execute automatically merge when this rule is applied for matching. But I don't. I want to do it step by step. So remember, we have nine records. If you remember the data set, three, uh, six records match because they have the same description. The other ones don't have the same description. I'm expecting that I should have three pairs that will be matched. Let's see if the software does what we think the theory says. So at this moment, am I done? Do I have any primary key? No. Match key distributions? No. Do I want to consider whether I have any unique immutable source systems? In other words, is there any data set that you don't want to match or merge? You will immediately accept it as unique. If we do this, then the consolidation indicator will be set to one. So again, we discussed this in the earlier module and in the lecture. Here, I'm not going to choose any of this. I think I'm done. So on the left hand side, I'm going to go to Batch Viewer. It's asking me if I want to save this. And hopefully I did not make any mistakes. Now, notice what I have here. Do I want to auto match and merge? No. My rules are not even set for auto merge. Do I want to auto match and merge? No. I want to go to match. And here, where we were a few moments ago, I want to go ahead and notice the match rule, the one we call define duplicates, because we only have one, it is the default. So I can leave it as default or select it. It doesn't matter, I only have one, which means the existing one is the default, and go ahead and execute the match. Let's see what the theory says. I'm gonna refresh status, expand this, and let's see what the software. Ah, look at this, match records. In other words, out of nine records, six were paired. So match records were three, queued for manual merge. So that's what we have. So the matching has worked. What should be the consolidation indicator right now? Well, we know that it should be at this moment, a. it should have gone to a three candidate for matching, but it has matched. So we normally don't see the three. We should end up seeing twos as candidates for merging. I can go to Oracle. And now I can make sure that you refresh and notice that the consolidation indicator is two and notice what we have here, matchable. Let me go to the data set that I typed out here. These are the results. 
the initial nine records and the color coded one that says which were matched. You can, you can uh, take more time when you view this or when you run this and you'll see, you'll see that record two is record two and record six match. How do I know this? Let me go back to Oracle. Notice here in Oracle, all this is stored in matching tables. Everything we have done for every based object, there's an associated match table. If we refresh that to make sure, notice the table match, it tells me record A is matching to record four, record six to record three, and record seven to record two. And this is what I, out of, out of speed for the demo, I copied and pasted it right here. So, so this is what we're seeing, okay? Now, now what? Well, let me show you quickly. We have merge. I do not want to see this always going through Oracle. So let me quickly create a query. And you're going to do this in another module. But right now I'm going to do a quick one. I have a write lock. And I'm going to create a query group. I'm going to call this, uh, yeah, I'm going to call this query for, I I'm going to just, I'm going to, I'm just going to call this really quickly, mm, let's say address type. You can call it whatever you want. That's the name of the query group. And inside I'm going to create a new query. Notice I'm going to do this pretty fast. Find, uh, let's see, view, view address types. Again, doing this rather quickly. And select the primary table. Well, in this case, the based object I want is the address type based object. Here it is. Go to next. I don't want to see all these columns, so I'm just going to remove the ones that I don't want. And this is a quick show of creating queries. Notice, and then quickly go to finish. There goes the query. You can view the data. The same thing that I was seeing through Oracle. Okay, so let me create a package while I'm in here. A package is layered on top of a query so that a data steward can inspect the data. Let me call this, uh, let, let's just call this, uh, let's just call this demo packages for lack of a better word. I'm going to make this a put because I do want the data steward to be able to modify data and which is the query that it's taught based on top of the view address type and pretty much click finish. So there I have a package and on top of a query, same data. In a moment, I'm going to come back and see how we can do this. But first, I want to go ahead and contemplate the, the merge. So we have match consolidation indicator is a two. Let me quickly go to merge, although uh, not, not the right place, although we're not dealing with merging just yet, but this is a complete example of a very small data set and a very small, not very complex based object. So we did the match. I want to go to auto merge. Let me know, do you think this is going to work or not? Here is merge data and address type. Is anything going to be merged automatically? So I select it. Look, zero. Of course they're not going to match. Why? Um, excuse me, merge. Because when I created the rule, I said no to auto. So notice, this is not automatically merging. If you really wanted to, then let me quickly go. I would have gone to the based object address type, auto match and merge, and I would have gone to my match rule sets and toggle the auto from no to yes. But I'm not doing that yet because I want to show you something else. So let's assume we leave it like this. How else can I see this? Well, in the data steward, when, because I left the rule as not auto merge, typically that's because you want a human being to uh, manually merge. How does a human being do this? In the workbench on the left-hand side, data steward, you have data manager and merge manager. We're going to have complete labs and lectures on this. I just wanted to show you quickly. So merge manager requires a put package. Remember, I just created one. There it goes, demo packages. And quickly, ah, Remember record number eight? Was that matching with any other? Here it is, record number four. So record eight, which is a consolidation indicator of two, is matching with record four. And you can see the values. You can study this on your, on your own. It is working. Let me go on top and see if I see record number four. Well, what is that matching to? Remember, MDM hub matches on pairs. So four to eight, eight to four. But we're not there yet. I don't want to go ahead and merge this manually. What about data viewer? What would the data, excuse me, data manager, 
Again, it works on a package and this is a view package and that I created. I'm using the same one quickly. There it is. So I get my records, but I cannot merge here. What I can do is show cross reference and a few more details via the icons on the right hand side. Okay, so this concludes our small sample. What I did, I showed you the data set that we're processing. Then I configure the match for the table address type. Then we got the results all through software. We actually verified and validated this through Oracle. And just to quickly close this, where do we do this? Address type under matching, properties exact, the paths, match columns, and the match rule sets. And this was very easy because it's exact matching. But what, what do we do if I wanted to actually finish the merge? I'm going to end up with only six records. Uh, the six records were, were matchable and mergeable, and the three other ones are not. Perhaps I should apply some fuzzy logic to see even if they're not exactly whether they're similar and apply fuzzy logic to detect that and even summarize those so that at the end I end up with three records. We're going to be discussing fuzzy in a, in a sequential module, subsequent module, and that concludes it. So after we configure this, we went to batch viewer, ran the match process. I try to show you auto merge and we realized we don't have any because our rule was set to not auto merge. And then I showed you a quickly data steward based on data manager and merge manager. And for that, we had to create a quick query and a put package. So that concludes our demo. I hope you really enjoy this. I know it was fun and success.